Hello everybody and Merry Christmas! It's time for the Winter Event 2017 in Star Trek Online. It's time to go to Q's Winter Wonderland and have some merriment and kill some snowmen. So this year there is a new thing we're going to be able to do and it's some kind of cramp leery thing and we're going to have to find it and take it out. I look forward to trying that out. Um, also, of course, we've got the returning events from previous years as well, and things you've probably seen before if you've been in the game for several years. A lot of it is not new, but if you haven't been in the game or you're new to the game, then this might be new for you. If you would like, you could check previous videos of mine, previous winter event years, if you search for them by the year and winter event, you will find that I have done playthroughs of those events in the winter event. I'm going to do them again, but I'm also looking mainly forward to doing the new thing, the Cramp Leary. So the way this is going to go is that this video will just be an introductory video. I'm just going to go to Q's Winter Wonderland. We're going to look at the rewards you can get, open up the thing so that we can see the rewards, and then we're going to go to where all the events start so you see what the events are and where they start and how you do them. In a, this, this video will probably be very short, but then in a second video, I'm actually going to go play those events. And that's the one you'll want to check out for that new playthrough. But this one, we're just going to look at what's available. So the first thing you want to do, how you get to Q's Winter Wonderland, is you can come to ESD right here and talk to Q. And you can simply do, I'd like to visit your Winter Wonderland, and he would take you there. There's probably another way. I believe if you open your mission hail, just like I did, and just click here, Q's Winter Wonderland, you can also transwarp there. That will allow you to transwarp, no matter where you are in the game, straight to the Winter Wonderland, so you don't have to come to ESD to get there. It's just one way among many to actually get there. But it is a separate place. It's a separate instance. There's a bunch of instances there. It's not really on a planet, per se. It's basically a creation of Q that he has uh, created this like universe f for us to go to where uh, things may not be what you expect in the real world. So we're going to transwarp straight there right now and that did not work. Huh. Okay, I found a bug everybody. Alright, well that didn't work. So, if that doesn't work for you, just talk to Q. Wow, I can't believe that. And am I on like elite difficulty mode? Why am I on elite difficulty mode? I didn't. I do not. I do not want that. For some reason, uh, I must have done that for something. I'm gonna go with advanced. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm on my character, the Valyard. He is an engineering character, but the reason why I'm using him is because he's the most geared up for the winter event. I have things for him that will help the winter event. For example, I have the winter tribble here, so I can enable that and get all the wonderful buffs that come with the winter tribble. I've also got a little gingerbread man I can have beside me, and I got the frosted boots for running real fast. And, of course, for things needed in the winter event, I have weaponry. I have the freezing mist, the hail, the snow blower, and the caramel assault. That way I can take part in all of those things in the winter event. Alright, let's try talking to Q and doing it that way. Okay, that works. It's a shame that there's a bug there in the hail menu because that's the easiest way to get to it. So here we are. This is Q's Winter Wonderland. If you, again, have been here in previous years, it all looks familiar. Really, nothing has changed. Um... It looks like the Klingon ice fishing is still there. I was wondering about that. We'll take a look at that. Oh, it looks like the... Oh, there's... I think that's the new Cramp Leary. It's got to be, right? Because everybody's fighting him. Yes, Cramp Leary. I found it. Well, I'm not going to engage him right now. But 
in the next video, we will definitely engage him. It says, chase off Cramp Leary as many times as you can within the time allotted. Times Cramp Leary chased away to gingerbread people freed to... That's going to be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to try that out myself. It looks like he goes down pretty quickly, though. Got a lot of people in there, but look, he's going down real fast. I want to see what happens when they get him down here. It looks like once you beat him, he just disappears. And he's chased away, basically. Okay, he's just chased away. And then you have to go find him again. So there goes everybody right now going to find him. Follow him, basically. I don't know how they know where he's going, though. But I guess they did find him. I'm just going to watch right now because that's what this video is about. This is an introduction to everything. Then in the next video, I want to play because I want to do him from the start. I want to get him from the start of when this starts. See how much time we have. But this is how you would do this new event here. Is basically you just find him like this uh, when he pops up. And then you just attack him. So it's pretty open worldish Because apparently he can randomly spawn anywhere in the world. And you just never know where he's going to spawn. The question is... Is there a prompt that lets you know that he's out and where he is? I guess not. I heard there's supposed to be some kind of like announcer fangirl thing or something that's supposed to announce that he's out and where he is. And it's supposed to teleport you there. But uh, I got nothing on my screen to do that, so I'm not sure where that would show up. I'm interested, though. I guess we'll find out the next time. Okay, so they beat him, and then he basically runs away. Oh, I see. He stays in a smoke form. That way you can follow him. So that's what you got to look for. Ah, I see. Okay. So he stays in a smoke form, and you follow him, and then you just continue until the time runs out. I want to see what happens when the timer runs out. That's it. It's literally over, just like that. So they got, uh, they freed... The magnificent Cramp Eerie may be gone for now, but he will return. His tenacity knows no bounds. Glory to the Cramp Eerie. Wondering how well everyone did? I didn't even do anything. Behold. Did I just, or just I, did I just earn nine ornaments for doing nothing? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. So that was pretty freaky right there. Well, I look forward to doing that uh, myself. That's going to be a lot of fun. So basically, that's... Basically, that's the prompt we were looking for there. I'll have to keep that in mind about that prompt. Okay. Anyway, um... Oh, there is a there is a an overall winter event calendar here. That's good. And it does give you a time when he's going to come back. So it says 45 minutes. That's good. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering, was this going to be so random you just had no idea when he was going to show up? Or were they going to tell you a time when he does? They tell you a time. So they make it real easy. So this is what you can do in the winter event if you're new to it. You can do the Cones of Conduct. A competitive race, um, Klingon ice fishing, the Cramp Leary. There's, there's some other things as well. If you just go around and look for things, you will find them. There's this event here, which is the um, Winter Invasion Queue. You can come to this little dome and start it yourself, or you can just go to the queue menu, and you should be able to find I it. I have winter items for a bargain. Here it is right here under all and then at the very bottom winter invasion. You don't actually have to be in Q's winter wonderland to start the winter invasion. It's just like any Q in the game. You just go to it and um, you know click your thing and and join the Q. And um, when that pops you basically go around killing snowmen saving things getting presents and then there's a big old snowman at the end and uh, we'll play that in the next video of course i've done that before in previous years so the winter invasion is something you can keep repeating over and over and over again you know i think there's like a 30 minute cooldown 
But otherwise, you just keep doing it over and over again for prize, a wise prizes. Man can have profit in the wind. It's a good way to get all the ornaments and stuff like that that you need to buy equipment in the store. All right, let's look around. This is the uh, race coordinator. This is how you do the fastest game on ice. And I believe this is the one you need to do to get the vouchers. Yeah, this is the one to get your winter prize vouchers. You're going to get 40 winter prize vouchers each time you do this. Now remember, you need 1,000 to get the free ship. So that's what, like 25 days or something like that? That's a lot. So you really do have to log in a lot to do it. But once you get a thousand, you get that free tier six ship. And if you're wondering about that tier six ship, check out my previous video where I did the uh, news on it. And I showed you that ship and went over all the specs on that ship. So you'll know what you get. But yeah, you'll need a thousand of these prize vouchers. You can do this event once a day. There's a cooldown on it. Once a day, you get those prize vouchers. And it's 40 each time. But this is who you come to, is this guy here. And then he'll put you down here on the track, and you run the race. It's pretty simple. But now you do have to win the race. If you don't win the race, you don't get the prize vouchers. So keep doing it until you win it. It is necessary that you win it. Here is Q here for information, I think. You can ask him what to do here. You can um, read all about this, the race officials, all the things you can do here. Klingons have ice fishing. Looks like that's still a thing. And then the Krampus thing going on here. Help! The snowmen aren't taking too kindly to our building a village in their territory, and they're planning an attack. There's other things you can do around, like this thing that's going on right now. Um, cones of conduct. Uh, a giant snowman is attacking the gingerbread village. Work with the gingerbread villagers to activate their snow conian defenses. That's something you can go do right now. That's active. So you have to go find these things. And if you do that, you'll see there's actually, that's talking about the Krampus, there's actually um, a lot to do here if you go look around. So you've got this little area down here to go to. Um, of course, you can customize your outfit going into the tailor here. You can put on a, a winter outfit or whatever items you may purchase in the store. And then here's the item vendor himself. We're not going to do that just yet. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, GPL conversion here. Um, EPOs, winter EPOs. Also, there's duty officer assignments. Don't forget that. If you bring, um, if you bring this menu out here, you will see that there are duty officer assignments like test effectiveness of upgraded thermal outwear, grant leave to crew members, authorized crew to decorate hy hy hydroponics bay, blah blah blah, S snowball fight, host a holiday party for your crew. So there's DOF missions here you can do once you're down on this uh, Q's Winter Wonderland. So that's also something you can keep going. They got things going on here. Oh, that's the event that's going on right now. If you come down here, you'll see other places you can go to. Tides of Ice, for example, is over here. Um, it is... I'm not sure when it starts or how that one starts. I, it should show up on the winter event list. But it might not be right now. Right now, Cones of Conduct is what's playing. But Tides of Ice is also a lot of fun. There's a whole bunch of snowmen and things pop up here, uh, but just watch the calendar for when it's when it starts. Talk to the event coordinator here, and then you would come and do this one. So this is one of the events. Let me see if I can equip some of my uh, snow devices here. I'm not sure which one is the best. I need to like try these out and figure out which one I actually want to use. For the events because I'm not sure which one I, I want to use here I don't remember exactly what all of them do wish there was a way I could test them on something 
This is the um, fastest game on ice. This is where you'll come to claim the rewards and all that when you're done. Uh, you got this thing up here is the fast and the flurious. It's another race thing. Uh, you just have to watch the calendar here. When it starts, you would come here, talk to the event official, and then you start on this path and run. Run. Basically, you're at, in a race against other players, so that's very fun. Uh, if you wear ice boots, you will run faster. However, you are more slippery, so just keep that in mind. But if you can master the ice boots, or the frost boots, um, you can gain an advantage on people running. And then down here you got the Klingon ice fishing. And I'm guessing we have to wait until this event starts as well. Yeah, with the frost boots on, you actually do this skiing motion, or uh, ice skating motion on the ice, which is really cool. You have a lot more, uh, a lot more ability to control your agility here on the ice with the frost boots. So they're really good on ice. But this is the Klingon official for the ice fishing. You can talk to him to learn about it. And you have to have a gauntlet or a glove. And basically you would smash through the ice, get the fish, and throw them in the bucket. But again, for that event you will also have to wait for it to start. And you can see Klingon ice fishing starts in 22 minutes. So yeah, that event is still a thing, which is quite fun. So this uh, weapon I've got here is, which one is this one? This is Freezing Mist. Damage a snowman, deals damage over a few seconds to one target in a short range. I've also got Hail, which is like dual pistols basically. Let's see what else I've got here. I've got uh, the Snowblower. That one looks a lot of fun. Or that, maybe, no, that was a snowblower. This one is the freezing mist. One's a freezing mist, one's a snowblower. They look kind of similar. And then I have uh, the caramel assault one right there. So I'm going to try out these different weapons when I start doing the event. See which one I like best, because I forget. I forget which one I actually like using the best. But that's what I have on this character to use. Now you can buy more, that's just what I have right now. There are more, and I wonder if there's some new ones this year. We're going to check that out. Uh, lastly, you want to make sure you go to your reputation, and there should be a winter event thing, right? Or maybe there's not. I guess maybe they don't have to do that anymore. Uh, maybe not then. But what you will find is the Breen Plus Trawl Heavy Raider. So under events, reputation, this is where you will turn in your 1,000 prize, prize, uh, prize vouchers to get the Breen Plus Trawl Heavy Raider Tier 6 Starship. Requirements, 1,000 winter prize vouchers, 2017. And a reward, special requisition pack, Breen Plus Trawl Heavy Raider Tier 6. So yeah, that's the thing to do this year. That's the thing to get. But I guess there's no winter event store you have to unlock under reputation anymore. And in fact, if here's the winter event store. You don't even have to go to the vendor. You can actually access it right here from events, reputation, and store. And you should see the winter event store. And these are all the things you can get from the winter event store. And of course, these are the items you need to buy things. You need earmuffs, candles, and ornaments, incense ornaments, sleigh bells, gratitude beads, or lobi. So how do you get all that stuff? Well, you compete in these events. Cones of conduct, competitive racing, the ice fishing, everything here. Um, the uh, winter invasion. Go to the queue and do the winter invasion. And that's how you get the items for the store. And that allows you to buy all the things in the store. So you can access the store that way. You can also access it uh, up here. And we'll just go up here to demonstrate that. I'm sliding all over the place. 
<laughs> no, come on. I was so close to getting in there. Come on. Very slicky, very slick. So we will come over here to the store. And you can access it this way as well. So you've got the Holiday Collectible Bundle, which is basically if you have low buy, you can also purchase those items that purchase things within the store. Uh, they're random, I think, but a bundle of eight holiday commodities, so they're random commodities. But if you had a lot of low buy and you didn't want to play like the Winter Invasion and all these events and stuff. I have winter items for a bargain. That's one way to get those items is to use the low buy. So of course you've got unmelting snowballs. If you don't want to purchase a weapon, these are real cheap. They don't melt. They last their time while you're in Q's Winter Wonderland. But they don't do a lot of damage and uh, they're very slow to fire on the snowmen. Uh, this looks like this is new. You got ornament fragment exchange. If you've got different uh, things here, I don't know what that provides. Winter event trinkets inside for five ornament fragment fragments. You get that. Here's the frosted boots. So if you ever wanted some frosted boots, uh, here's what they cost, and uh, here's where you would get them. So a lot of this stuff. Who loves all the little a creatures? A wise man even can you. hear profit. In the wind. Yeah, the voices are annoying. Uh, everybody complains about that, trust me. So these are things from previous years. The uh, 2012 scarf or a scarf. You've got Starfleet Academy scarf, Federation scarf, winter hats, winter sweaters, um, live long and prosper sweater. That one's very cool. I'd like that in real life. You've got festive snowmen, uh, sweaters, Gorn, Q... This one's new. We've got Winter Snow Outfit. And somebody reminded me, I believe this is from a holodeck. Wesley or somebody was in the holodeck. And they wore these coming out because they were skiing with them. So it's very cool that they now have this costume in the game in the winter event. Makes sense. Your costume is currently packed, blah, blah, blah. So that's cool. It's good for business. So that's a new winter snow outfit to wear this year. It costs 10 of those things and 8 of those things. So that's it's not very expensive. You just have to have a lot of those. You have to have like all the things to, to get it. Uh, you've got the winter jackets. Uh, you've got new colors on the winter jacket. We've got a pumpkin spice style winter jacket this year. So that's very cool. And we've got uh, tulaberry style winter jacket. So different colors on the winter jacket. And you've got short and long winter jackets. You got short pumpkin and short tulaberry, and then you got the long. So a short is basically just a short, shorter jacket. You've also got cropped versions of a them as well. A man can hear profit in the wind cropped like that as well. We've got mistletoe style winter jackets. All these are from previous years. Winter jackets, there's a lot of them, as you can see. I'm Don't wearing, you want an Epo friend? I'm wearing a winter jacket right now. Here's the uh, Klingon Ice Fishing Gauntlet improved, so if you don't want to use the free one I think you get, you can use an improved one. Here's an advanced one, even better, for cleaning on ice fishing. And then here's the weapons. So you've got the Caramel Assault, which is what I've one that I've got. You've got Candy Cane Batleth, Lollipop Lirpa, Swordfish, Blue Red, the Snowblower, Hail, the Big One, Flurry, Avalanche, Freezing Mist, the Impaler. Ah, here's the new one this year. Q is a genius. And so... Unrestricted aggression. This weapon fires foam darts with incredible accuracy and power. Where the supply of foam darts come from, though, only Q would know. The weapon only functions while visiting Q's Winter Wonderland. So foam darts is a very cool weapon here. You've got a foam dart power shot for your secondary. So that's the new thing to try. That's the requirements for it. As you can see, I 
don't have anything right now, but maybe I'll get some stuff. Nanopulse weapons have always been a thing in uh, the winter e event. And new this year is Cute the black. Is a genius. Black Nanopulse. Ah, so handsome. It's the Mechleth. Recovered from the encounter with the Crampleary in Q's Winter Wonderland, the Black Nanopulse Mechleth can execute a variety of strikes when used in combination series. It delivers a basic melee attack, 2 meter range, physical damage, shield penetration, plus 20 critical severity, and a Mechleth Slash delivers a basic melee attack, affects foe, 90 degree cone, physical damage, plus 20% critical severity as well. And then a pummel Q as well. Q is a genius. Ah, so handsome. So that's not really that expensive. Pretty much uh, you should be able to get the things you need to buy that pretty easily. You've got uh, Q's ornament, shaved ice, gateway. These, this is more weaponry stuff. This is like the Iconian solar gateway here. You got shaved ice flurry, Q's ornament, shaved ice turret. Like turrets to set up, a mortar, explosive gumdrops, uh, avalanche, which is like orbital strike, snowball turrets, candy cane caltrops, gingerbread defense squad. And then we come to the really, really cool stuff, and that is kit modules. Q is a genius. Ah, so handsome. Kit modules can be used outside of the Q's Winter Wonderland. So this is for regular gameplay. Got cryogenic stasis for science. You've got cryo mine barrier for engineering. You've got cryotonic modulation for tactical. Aren't Epo's adorable? You've got endothermic induction for science, flash freeze for engineering, and cryo grenade for tactical. You got cryonic pulse for science, freeze armor for engineering, and micro cryonic warhead for tactical. And then new this year is the Cryo Visor Blast. And this is a universal kit module, so you can use it on any kit. Q is a genius. Ah, so handsome. Any kit, any career type, anybody can use this. It uh, basically shoots a, an, eye, a, uh, an ice beam out of your visor. It's a hold, cold damage over time, an icy patch. You freeze the, the enemy, uh, you do cold damage, and creates a 5 meter radius low friction ice patch as well. So that's a pretty cool new uh, item there, I'd like to try that out. You got training manuals for cryonic pulse, freeze armor, micro cryonic warhead, and then you have vanity patch, you've got a uh, non-combat patch, you got the snowconian, a dominable snowman, or a a dumb adorable snowman and then here's the new one this year this is a crampleary pet um, it's a non-combat pet unfortunately but it does look kind of scary and then also if you're going for the breen ship you might want to go for the cryoplasma infused warp core which is part Q of the is a genius. part of the breen absolute zero so set handsome. this is the set that you can get uh, in the game you can get the um, shield the impulse engine and the deflector in a game mission and then you can only get the warp core however from the winter wonderland so this is where you want to come to get the warp core and it's a four piece set at that time it's very expensive as you can see but worth it if you're going to fly a brain ship you've also of course if you're romulan you've got a singularity core version as well and then training manuals for endothermic in endothermic inhibitor beam so some new things there to try out and get so some new outfits there a uh, Q is a genius a new weapon ah, so handsome. a new universal kit module so I'm looking forward to those things and that's what you get out of the store so is the winter wonderland useful to your character outside of the winter wonderland absolutely because you can use the uh, you can you can use the universal kit module outside of the game, so that's for regular gameplay. And of course, you can use the uh, the Breen warp core in combination with the other Breen set if you're doing a Breen build on a Breen ship. That could help. 
So there are things here, and of course you got outfits as well. Outf outfits are of course a big Aren't thing. Epo's adorable. And lots of other kit modules too for other, uh, you know, if you want to have other career types here, you need to get other kit modules. Lots of different kit modules here that are used outside of the Winter Wonderland. And training manuals as well for some powers to train to your bridge officers. So yes, there is, there are useful things, not to mention the free brain Q ship. is a genius. So there are a lot of useful things within the Winter Wonderland here to do these events to get if you're interested in that stuff. So if you need something here, this is where you come. You come here, get the stuff, do the stuff, get the ornaments, buy the stuff, and just watch the winter event calendar here to see what events are coming up in what time and then go do them. And then the winter invasion, you can bring up any time from anywhere in the game and just go play the winter invasion over and over and over again for stuff too. And that's pretty much an overview or introduction to the winter event 2017. Not a whole lot more to talk about there. This is where you come to do it and that's how you start things. And now in the next video, I'm going to do the things. So in the next video, expect me to play everything. I'm going to go play the fastest race or the fastest person on ice race or whatever. That's where you get your vouchers from, of course. I'm going to do the other competitive race, which is the Fast and the Furious. I'm going to do the Klingon ice fishing again. Uh, a snowball fight, that's still in the game. I'm going to do that too. Uh, the gingerbread snow conian thing do that and then of course the big one i'll be looking forward to is the cramp leary and seeing how that works and tides of ice that one as well so i'm going to do all of them so the next video will be pretty lengthy pretty lengthy because i'm going to play all the events but this one pretty short here it just gives you an idea of what you can do in the winter event so i hope to see you all in game thanks to watch Thanks for, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.